The Erie Street Market will be closed and eventually sold by city leaders. Good evening, I'm Sean Hegarty. Here's the news for Tuesday, February 7th. Fox Toledo's Kevin Milliken is live in the newsroom with how it is going to go down. Rights to be and others received this letter telling them there won't be any wedding receptions or any other events for that matter at the Erie Street Market after April 1st. While those events are being relocated, top city officials are preparing to put the market on the market. So it's financial, simple as that. City officials are taking the last steps to close the Erie Street Market, saying it's costing Toledo taxpayers $250,000 each year. Vendors at Erie Antiques and Collectibles say they saw the warning signs in December when they received eviction notices. Nice big building, hate to see it go. I just feel that it's a big mistake with the growth downtown, all the apartment buildings they're putting in. and. You know, it, we had a really nice business. Now two event facilities inside the Civic Center Promenade will be shut down this spring. The only bay left open to the public will be the Libby Glass Factory outlet, but that lease expires in September. City officials confirm they intend to sell the entire building. Of course. As you well know, uh, we've professed to have everything on the market, uh, frankly, that's... Uh, that we no longer need, and that is among the buildings that, of course, is up for sale, yes. An appraiser will determine the market value, which will be its asking price. Its eventual sale, the final chapter in its troubled past. But it is a significant building and in our, in our warehouse district, and I'm sure it will have a fairly decent price tag associated with it. Commercial realtors say any empty building in the warehouse district right now is among the city's hottest property. About the only thing that will be left for sale by spring is the Erie Street Market. Whether there will be a market for the market remains to be seen. Live in the newsroom, Kevin Milliken, Fox Toledo News.